All right, guys, so we have some breaking news for Global Dokkan. Now, this is actually a really, really big deal. So we're going to go over this here. So we just got in the news uh, here for Global Dokkan that update 4.3.2 is about to be released. Now, again, we're going to go over exactly why this is such a big deal in a second here. But this is actually the current version that JP is on. So global will be completely caught up there now i was planning on doing a video uh that i was going to title like the new era of dokkan or something like that and go over how it does seem like they're i don't know that they're getting global and jp aligned but more so closer right because like now that hit has come to global first uh lr gohan and goten have come to global first and presumably this lr broly that's going to come in a couple days is going to be on global first like seems as though if they're not going to completely catch up they will be spitting out a bunch of global first banners which you know to me I, I feel like that's a really good thing for global so moving forward it seems as though jp and global are going to go back and forth putting out banners first before the other version right so it will keep both player bases on their toes it'll keep both player bases excited with every data download every update because it really could be you know like but previously, global players, it's like, okay, data download, oh, this is going to be in Goku Black, or, oh, okay, here we go, this is going to be, you know, uh, Physical Vegito Blue and AGL Rosé, but now it's like, data download, okay, we're expecting on global, uh, in Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, oh, psych, LR, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku is here, like, you know, it's going to be stuff like that, so that's very good, uh, for global players. Now, uh, again, this is 4.3.2 is about to be released now this is the version on jp right now 4.3.0 and 4.3.1 were both broken uh well actually no it was okay okay wait wait it, it's 4.3.1 is what was broken i believe because so 4.3.0 released right uh and then i believe uh lr kale and khalifa came out with their passive which stacks up just exactly the same way gohan and goten do where they get a uh, key whenever they attack so it kind of led to this overflow key glitch which apparently has been in dokkan forever but you know we've only just been aware of this because it was easy to spot with the lrs right so because of that when they tried to fix that they ended up like chaos ensued on jp for 4.3.1 where like lr broly on his second super attack would not aoe lr majin vegeta sometimes on his additional super would just additional super like seven times in a row and like make sure to hit every enemy it's like like it's like they took away lr broly's aoe from his second super and they gave it to lr majin vegeta instead just all types of wild shenanigans were afoot like just absolute craziness uh like the game was broken units were hitting way harder than they should on additional super attacks like again just like pure insanity but global is going to skip all that that's very good and just go straight to 4.3.2 and not have to deal with any of the shenanigans any of the tomfoolery that happened now also this explains why this maintenance is so long because this is going to be a massive massive update for them to jump to the current version that jp is on right now because again if we look like what what is this like a, a it's like a like a seven eight hour maintenance like this is gonna be super super long uh presumably as well uh we are expecting that the lr broly could have his uh info revealed uh so that's you know that's very very soon that we're gonna find out about all this stuff now Let's go ahead and take a look at 4.3.0, which, for all intents and purposes, this is the update Global's getting. It's just up to 4.3.2 because that fixes the bugs and the issues. The key overflow glitch is going to be fixed. Uh, Global will never have to worry about LR Broly not AoEing on a second super. All the additional attack bugs, all that is just not going to ever come to Global, which is good. Because if you guys remember, the giant bug that was on Global, JP had that as well. But for JP, it was only around for, I want to say, like two weeks or something like that. Then they got their update and it was fixed. But for Global, that giant bug where when you would finish an enemy off in giant, the game would crash and you would have to restart the stage. You couldn't continue. Uh, that was on global for like a month or two like that was around for a very very long time and, you know it, it made it particularly difficult to complete like easy a's and stuff like that now one of the main things th this is exactly what everyone wants to see right here 
Uh, this is part of 4.3.0, uh, uh, the boost feature. So basically what this does is you do you use double stamina. Uh, you're able to use it uh, like, so, okay, okay. Let, let me try and explain this. So you get three bars, right? One, these bars refill every eight hours. That's the only thing is it is rather limited. You know, <laughs> you can only use one boost basically every eight hours, right? So as soon as global gets updated, you'll have your three bars just like that. And when you use it, then a timer counts down from eight hours until it replenishes. You use all three real quick and it's still eight hours for each individual one, right? So it takes a very long time. For those to replenish but it you know you uh take double stamina you get double rewards like you know double zenny double friend points double experience uh you can get double drops double items all types of stuff now i've noticed too it's not just double drops let's say you're using the boost feature to farm up something like uh the physical broly from the dokkan event or you know the scr buhan from the dokkan event or tech goku black from the dokkan event you guys know which cards i'm talking about the they can have very very annoying drop rates if you use the boost feature even if you don't get the drop you can still get the card because i decided to keep uh the ssr agl broly uh, and i've been farming up his super attack and that happened i used the boost i did not get broly to drop but i still got a copy of his card from the boost feature so the boost feature is nice a bit limited but like you know there's been people who have gotten like 10 drops of a character like it can be really really crazy uh before we finish up i will you know we'll, we'll do a quick um uh run using the boost feature uh globally you'll now be able to sort by links which is pretty cool uh then of course you can also check like in in summon banners you can kind of see like all the different forms of the character and their super attack as well uh let me see yeah there is oh okay okay yeah then there's this thing where any items you have that are listed as zero it'll no longer be displayed in the items list uh so like i don't know like there's the uh, the medals that awakened the egl spirit bomb goku from the 200 million download celebration like those won't be there uh stuff like that so here let me switch over to the game uh and i want to show uh real quick here i, I guess i guess let's head over to the banner real fast uh, and I can show you guys, uh, like, how it, it lets you look at any unit. So, yeah, we, we could do it right here on the step-up banner. Uh, so, every card, you're able to look at all of their different forms. And that even includes playing super attacks of all their different forms. Now, I know when JP first got this, uh, it did mention in the, uh, like, news in, in the update that not every character would have their super attack displayed. So... Uh, I, one I know that people said did not actually work was LR Great Salmon 1 and 2. Let me see. Uh, yeah, looks like you can't use their super... Yeah, you can't see their super attack. Uh, wait, no. Here, the arrow. Let me click that. Yeah, it look, looks like you can't see the super attack. Some unit super attacks you can't see. I'm curious. Let me go up to LR Broly real fast. Or LR Beers, excuse me. Uh, and we'll jump over here. Yeah, and we can't play his super attack. So... Every once in a while, there's units there that you can't play their super attacks. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the news it did state that it would eventually update that, but I I'm not too completely sure on that. Um, and then last but not least, so yeah, here's the, the little boost thing. It lets you know how many bars you have. Right now, I've only got one available because, of course, again, it takes a full eight hours for it to replenish, which does take an awful lot. Uh, I've been great. Actually, you know what? Let's go into... Oh, man. Let me go into the Broly stage. Uh, do, uh, let me try and emulate what I was just talking about, right? So, normally, I, I was going to go into that Monica event, and I was going to run that one uh, and, and get, like, the little uh, cosmic item, right? But, I, you know, this this would be good to sort of display on camera if I can get it. So, let me turn on the boost feature. Boom. Then, you know, see, stamina takes uh, takes double stamina. We'll go ahead and hop in. Uh, I'll just use uh, an AGL as a monster team. That's what I was running on this before. Uh, and then we'll see what sort of drops. So anything you get from the map, you do get a second copy of, right? So like a, a stage like this, there is a lot of these gold capsules, like the gold training items, gold support items, all that stuff. So this is perfect to try and get uh, like the, all these capsules because every single one we get of these gold kind, we're going to get double of that. So it, it's just very helpful. I do personally think that they should reduce the time. I think it's eight hours right now. I think that's a bit too much. I think dropping it down to, I don't know, maybe six hours or five hours, I think could be fair. 
I, I get that they don't want to make it too, like, easy, right? Like, too ridiculous. But I think eight hours is too restrictive. I think dropping it down to five or six hours, I think, would be more than enough. I think that'd be fair. Because, you know, that, that would at least get us, like, one extra one per day if it was six hours, right? So that would be cool. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we'll, we'll be able to take out this Broly real quick. Uh, we'll see if he is indeed going to drop a card or not. Remember, if even if he doesn't drop a card, we could potentially get one uh, just from the boost feature alone. But you know, at, at the same time, there's also a chance we get nothing. So this does work in reverse, though. So uh, another thing I was farming up was the medals for... Okay, so we could still get the drop, right? We only got that, but we could get his card. Uh, I was farming up... We get double experience and double zenny, too. That's nice. I was farming up uh, the medals to awaken uh, the tech Android 13 because I plan on rainbowing mine. And I got a metal drop. You know, sometimes those medals are hard to get. I got a metal drop, but the boosted item was not the metal. It was just like a regular common support item or something like that. So it can work in reverse, unfortunately. Uh, and okay, okay. We did not get the copy of the card, but that has happened before, right? Where I've gotten the, the boost feature, didn't get the drop, but then I've still gotten a copy of them. So... There we go, guys. There is the boost feature that is coming to Global. Uh, I do think it's a very, very big deal that Global is indeed going to be getting this update this quickly. Uh, and, and we'll see. Again, this does feel like a new era of Dokkan. Like, I don't I don't think they're going to let Global just sit there, you know, four or five, six months behind. You know, there's going to be things that are still going to take, you know, five, six months to show up on Global. Like, Trunks and Zamasu might not show up on Global until, like, November, right? But then, at the same time, there's going to be other things like Hit or the LR Family Kamehameha, which come to Global first, which does balance it out. The only thing now is uh, Global does still need to get those Dragon Ball Hero cards. I do want to see Global get the Heroes cards. All those Super Saiyan 3, Trunks, uh, Gohan, Xeno Goku, Xeno Vegeta, those are important cards for team building for like Super Saiyan 3 teams, EZA events, Silicon Battlefield, Super Battle Road, the Goku event. Like, those are important cards to come to Global. So, with Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission being released worldwide, hopefully we will see uh, the Heroes cards brought to Global sooner rather than later. But there we go, guys. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on this. Very, very good news that Update 4.3.2 is coming. And it's skipping over all of the bustedness. So, this is very good. So, let me know what you guys think of all the developments on Global. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.